travel short distances in the sense that they travel from neuron to neuron and the only thing they have to pass through is what? Synaptic cleft, okay? So that's what I mean when they travel <coughs> short distances and they only communicate with neurons and they do it very, very quickly, okay? Hormones, on the other hand, hormones are released in, in big clumps, if you will, if I can use that word, in big clumps from the different uh, glands that we have throughout the body, and they're, they're released in what we call a pulsatile manner, which it means that it pulses out, not just one at a time, but a big group of hormones all at once, and instead of traveling on these specific pathways and looking for a receptor site to lock into on a neuron, this time we're traveling through the bloodstream all over throughout the entire body. So when you say something about those hormones are raging through your body, it's true, okay? They're raging, if you will, throughout your entire bloodstream and they're going throughout um, and looking for target cells that they match up with to do their specific behaviors. Pathways much slower, it's, it's much slower in terms of they're doing the job that they need to do as well as with their dissipation for them to be finished doing what they're doing. So it's not easy to get the hormones to stop doing. It's not like we have reuptake real fast to take it back up into the, uh, into the glands. But the other thing that I want for you to notice are these last two bullets. Number one, they respond to changes in your body. Okay, we've got the pancreas uh, secreting insulin. It's after you've eaten, then it's regulating the sugar that you've eaten and things like that, okay? Um, when you see somebody hot, you know, you're like, Okay, and there are sex hormones going through your body. It's responding to changes in your environment and throughout your body. And then this thing here, this bullet here, levels fluctuate rhythmically throughout the day. In the next unit, we're gonna talk about circadian rhythms. Psych two students, we've talked about circadian rhythms. Those 24 hour cycles, we mostly think of the sleep-wake cycle, but our hormones are also on a circadian rhythm that different times of the day, there's more of different hormones being released throughout the day just to take care of the body and keep it in homeostasis.